Welcome back to Shorty Mac TV, y'all. I'm back. <laughs> uh, two videos in one day. I'm on a roll. Nice no, kid. All right, y'all. Welcome back. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Comment below. Hit the notification bell so you're notified each time I upload a new video and all those great YouTube things. All right, so I wasn't going to do this video, but after observing for a few days and watching everything unfold, I was like, I guess I'll talk about everything that's going on. All right, so just a heads up, this video might be longer than all my normal videos that usually that I usually do. So uh, just hang tight and hopefully you with me to the end. So um, let's just talk about it. Let's unravel everything that's happening right now. Um, I think I want to start with Nick Cannon. So um, let's talk about Nick Cannon and, and what's going on with Nick. Now, um, first off, I want to say that what Nick Cannon said was true. <laughs> I don't care what anybody feels about that. I don't care how you feel about that. If you're upset about what he said, then you should be upset with history because what he's saying is history and it's true. And um, the only people that are upset are those group of individuals. But the only thing with Nick Cannon that I have to say is that you are on those people network, those same people that he's calling out and that he's talking about, you on those people network. So it's like you biting the hand that feeds you because um, that's very much what it is. The, um, the very people that he, that he made upset, they all, remember a couple of videos back, I said that there's maybe five companies that own all of the entertainment that we see, like all the networks that's on TV. Uh, those group of individuals that he made upset are those people. <laughs> They control all the media, the uh, stations, and everything. So, of course, they're going to be upset. Of course, he'll be out of a job because he said that on their network. You don't bite the hand that feeds you. Now, had he said this on, uh, was this incredible? Nothing would have happened. He still would have his job because he have his own network. The only thing that would have happened is he would have got canceled because, you know, cancel culture. Anytime you say anything that me most people don't agree with, you cancel so he would have been canceled, and I'm sure he don't give a damn about none of that. But um, those group of individuals that he made upset are the Jewish people. They control all the media. They um, they control all the um, the um, music too. All those um, those big record labels are all owned by Jewish people. So of course they gonna be mad at what he said because you're going against the grain and you're going against the hand that feeds you. So that's you know that's what's happening. Um, furthermore, um, there's just a lot that's been unfolding these couple of days, and a lot is being revealed. And this matrix, as we know, it is coming to an end, y'all. It's ending each day. Stuff is happening. I hope y'all paying attention. But each day, this matrix is revealing itself, and it's coming to an end. So um, next, after Nick Cannon, um, that's pretty much all I have to say about Nick Cannon. I agree with what he said. I just don't agree with how he said it and where he said it on. If he was on his own network and he said that, that would have been fine. But you on these people network talking down on them, of course they're going to say something. <laughs> So um, more with the, the I want to lean forward to the music industry. Um, I'm not sure if y'all paying attention or what's going on, but there are these artists that's coming out and they're crying for help. And they're basically exposing the music industry for what it is. And I've been trying to tell people, once you sign to these record labels, you pretty much sell your soul. And, and it, after that, there's no going back. So um, I don't know if y'all are aware of what's going on with Britney Spears right now, but um, poor Britney, there's a, uh, a hashtag that's going around that says uh, Free Britney. And what's basically going on is this lady is a grown woman. I think she's like 38, but she has no control over her life whatsoever. Um, her dad, Jamie Spears, signed some kind of contract where he has complete control over her life. She can't do nothing for herself. She can't spend her own money. She can't leave her own house without his um, permission. She can't drive her own car. And um, not only that, she has an allowance on how much money she could spend, and that's all her money. Meanwhile, her dad, Jamie, is getting like 70K a month from her. And, and all of this is crazy. So um, 
Britney Spears has been crying out for help. Um, people have not been paying attention to the signs. Uh, if y'all remember a, a while back, remember when she went through that whole little deal and they said she was having a mental breakdown because she cut all her hair off and everything? It's probably due because of what her dad is doing to her and it's completely sad and I don't like what, you know, what they're doing to her. So uh, th that's something that's going on. I hope y'all paying attention and I hope they can free Britney because uh, a lot of people I think they started a petition for people to investigate that um, contract because her dad is totally, totally misusing that contract. That contract is supposed to be some for someone who can't really do nothing for themselves. Somebody that's like real old and they um, they sign off their rights to somebody and they that person basically take care of them. That's what those type of contracts are for. And for her dad to do that and she don't have complete control over herself, that is crazy. And she's basically a, a slave to this music industry. And, and speaking of being a slave to the music industry, has anybody seen what's going on with Tamar Braxton? Are y'all paying attention? Are y'all seeing the signs? Uh, Tamar um, recently just came out saying that she she want to be out of this world. She can't. She's a a, a slave to this. Um, she called herself a slave. She says she's a slave to this industry. She has no control over her life. And the only way she see out is death. So pretty much she's um, she's borderline um, uh, suicidal. And I, I, I really pray for her and I hope, and I hope that she gets some loving people that surround her. But uh, it's really sad that these music artists feel like that. And she said that she's a slave to this system, which means she has no control over her life. And if y'all remember, Tamar went through a phase where she cut all her hair off too. Y'all remember it? it so th these are all signs, like all these people that are screaming out for help and that is trying to come, um, come out and say that, you know, what this music industry is doing to them. Um, they're, they all have similar stuff that's going on, like Tamar cut all her hair off, uh, Britney Spears shaved all her head off. These are all signs of help. And, and I, it pains me to see that people are um, commenting about Tamar saying that she's just doing this for attention and she always doing stuff for attention and all this. And, and it's from people that look like her and that's always gonna happen, man. I, I hate that. And this, um, same thing that happened with Nick Cannon, how everybody was mad because he apologized and everything. And going back to Nick Cannon real quickly, because I forgot to mention this, I think the reason why he, at first he doubled down and said that he wasn't going to apologize and no company was going to silence him and, you know, all that. And then, you know, a few hours later, he kind of apologized. I think only, I think one or two things happened. One, they either got something on Nick Cannon that they are using to blackmail him or two, they threaten they threaten his his um his family and his kids somehow, cause that's how Hollywood get off, man. They 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 got some something on you that they go blackmail, or they threaten your life, and your, you know, cause you going against the grain and you going against them. Hold on, y'all. I'm gonna wait till this plane crosses. But yeah, that's what Hollywood do. They um. They either have stuff on you that they're gonna use to blackmail you or they gonna threaten your, your, your family's livelihood. So I'm pretty much sure that's what happened. That's why he came out to apologize. And then, you know, he came out because he mad that the people that look like him, us, are mad at him and canceling him and all that type of stuff. Y'all gotta pipe down and leave this man alone. Yes, he, he doubled down and he apologized, but yeah, I think about what's at stake here. Nobody else is worried about that. He probably worried about his family and everything. And I'm sure he ain't worried about, you know, the jobs that they are cutting him from or whatever, because he got money. But yeah, y'all don't know what Hollywood is capable of or what they do to people. So that's why he went back and apologized. Now going back to uh, Tamar, what Tamar and Britney Spears is experiencing is what all music artists experience. Y'all know this, y'all know that these music artists be screaming for help and they songs they talk about how they they are trapped and they they uh in jail or something like that and um yes these music artists have been 
screaming for help. They that's why they all be drugged up, um, drinking lean and popping Zans and all that stuff. And rest in peace to all those music artists that passed away and overdosed on that because they were dealing with this stuff that's going on. So, um, music industry is getting exposed slowly but surely. And if this is not a wake up call to those up and coming artists or these young anybody that's young that's an artist and that you you know, the music industry is something that you was looking into, this should be an eye opener to you to to show you that this is not the route that you want to do. And if you are an artist, the best route for you is to go independent and, and work your way up that way. You know, it, it will, it's going to take a lot of hard work. And I know, you know, the easy route is to sign to a label, but it will be, it'll pay off more better if you were independent, you had your own stuff and you owned everything. It'll pay off way more better. All right, so moving right along to, um, oh, let me just go back to the, the Jewish people that I want to go back and tell y'all. All those major record labels are all, all owned by Jewish people. And um, I want y'all to do research on who owns all these major record companies that, that have all these artists that promote violence that demean our women that talk about drug use that talk about shooting up people uh pay attention to who own those record companies and um those ra rappers that they sign that promote this type of things if those same rappers were to go and rap about i don't know let's say killing jewish people or uh killing crackers or something like that they would be dropped from their record label quick in a hurry but you can say nigga, nigga, nigga a thousand times in your song. You can talk about shooting up other niggas. You can talk about, you know, slapping bitches and, you know, getting sex and all that type of stuff all day in these record labels. But the minute you mention something about crackers or Jewish people, they gonna drop your label quick and hurt. You, you, you out of there. So, um, yeah, I, I might drop some, a few pictures. You know what? Because I know some of y'all, when I say do research, some of y'all don't. I'm going to drop a few pictures up in this video for y'all to see that, you know, most of these people that own these record labels are not our people. And that these, uh, that the record, the artists that they sign are basically slaves to those people that own those record labels. And that's all I'm going to say about that. I'm going to move on and um, let's talk about Wayfair. I don't know if y'all been seeing Wayfair. They've been trending. If y'all not familiar with Wayfair or what's going on, uh, Wayfair is a... Um, a website kind of like Amazon that you go and buy things on but lately they've been under fire because they have been alleged allegedly running a trafficking human trafficking ring <laughs> um, on their website people have um, investigated where they have like furniture such as cabinets that are overly priced and it's just basic cabinets I think they were like 15,000 for cabinets and these cabinets have different names of missing girls on them so like it'll have a I, I don't know I can't remember the names let's just say Amy it'll have a, a Amy cabinet whatever and they have all the different stuff and then they have the price like 15,000 or something like that and then the same cabinet will have a different name let's just say Jamie same cabinet and they list a little skew numbers or whatever and then that one is like for 16,000 or whatever and it's just a whole bunch of their that on their website they also have these pillows that are overly priced with missing girls names on them so people are, are investigating and, um, and alleging that Wayfair are part of this human trafficking or um, child trafficking that they got going on. And of course, they denied it and said that it was, you know, false and all those type of things, but come on. And it's not just Wayfair either. They came after Amazon and Walmart as well. And um, there's another one too I can't really think of. But um, yeah, it looks like this child trafficking ring it's getting exposed. I don't know if y'all remember back in my previous episode, I mean my previous uh, videos where I was talking about like Pizzagate and all that type of stuff. This is Pizzagate being exposed. Now, a lot of people might not think that it's real and some people are looking into it. It's like, what is going on? And I'm glad that people are opening their eyes and uh, this is getting flat and people are, you know, researching this type of thing because this is all stuff that us conspiracy theorists have been talking about for, um, 
years or even month for months or even years and now it's finally coming to the forefront and people are paying attention to see what's going on now um, a lot of people might not think that this might be might not be tied to Pizzagate and all these celebrities that's going around, but I think it is. Um, there's a CEO of Wayfair. Uh, there's a picture of him, and I don't know, remember how to say her name. Glissane Maxwell, which is um, Epstein's wife, uh, and we all know about Epstein, um, his flight logs and all those type of things. But uh, there's a photo of the CEO of Wayfair pictured with her, which is Epstein's wife. So um, I don't know. It looks pretty fishy to me. I would say that all of that is connected and that uh, Pizzagate is slowly getting exposed. Um, these uh, celebrities and everything that are that are connected to all of this are slowly getting exposed. Um, have y'all been paying attention to Chrissy Teigen? <laughs> Chrissy Teigen is under fire as well. Uh, she's been suspected of being a part of Pizzagate and uh, being a pedophile and um, and um, sacrificing children and all of that. And she's, you know, she went and deleted over, I don't know, 82,000 tweets. Because <laughs> people on her ass. Um, yeah, she went and deleted over, I, I don't know if that number is correct, but like 82,000 tweets she went and deleted. That was really, it was tweets that was really disturbing. It was tweets about how she uh, wanted to send herself to jail because she was watching Tyler's and Tierra's and she will go to jail for that and, and that the Tyler's and Tierra's was sexy and it was a uh, pretty much a few disturbing tweets that she made. Now, granted, those tweets were years ago and stuff like that, but if she's not guilty or, you know, she's not associated with any of that, why is she going and deleting tweets that pretty much make herself look guilty? She's deleting those tweets, and all those tweets have something to do with pedophilia. It's all, it's all disturbing, and I, I might put some screenshots of those tweets in, in this video. Hold on, y'all. Matrix working overtime again. But, um, so she's making herself look really guilty. Not to mention, she's also has been, you know, she's trying to say she has nothing to do with Pizzagate and that all these allegations are false and now she's scared for her family and yada, yada, yada. Girl, <laughs> people are coming up and they're catching up to you. They see what's going on. Not to mention, she's also, her and her husband, John Legend, names are on Epstein's flight log. Not to mention, her and her husband has also been photo with, um, oh man, I can't remember this lady's name. The spirit cooker lady, that evil weird lady, uh, Abramovich, I think that's her name. I can't remember her first name, but spirit cooking is like some type of ritual that they do where they go and it's like a table and it, it look, it, it's like a human. I don't know if they actually cook the human, they probably do, or it's some kind of cake that's looked like a human, but they're pretty much practicing cannibalism and there's a photo of John Legend, uh, Chrissy Teigen, uh, the Abramovich lady that does the spirit cooking, and if I'm not mistaken, I think Beyonce and Jay-Z is also in that photo. I could be wrong. Um, but there, yeah, so she, 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 she's under fire right now. People are, are catching up to what she's been doing, her and her husband. Um, so if y'all want to have a field day going to her tweets, <laughs> go to Twitter and just read all her tweets, y'all. It's interesting. Go on her IG page and go on in the comments. People are on her. But um, closing out, because um, this video is getting too long, what I want to talk about is how this matrix is coming to an end. Y'all see what's going on um, each day. Sorry, hold on. It's hot and I got sweat on my... Sorry, y'all. But uh, y'all see what's going on. Each day, something is being revealed. Something is happening. These celebrities are being exposed. Uh, these these groups or uh, uh, whatever is being exposed. So um, I just want y'all to continue to pay attention. Uh, chapter 7 of 2020 is not over yet. So it's probably going to get a little more crazier as the um, days go by. 
and then chapter eight see 2020 we ain't done yet it's it, y'all think it's getting bad and bad we ain't even done yet it's more to become um more stuff is getting revealed so y'all pay attention and watch how this matrix come to an end how these celebrities are panicking how um people are going to see celebrities for what they are and um see them for what they truly are uh just keep paying attention y'all thank y'all for tuning in Shorty Mac TV, like, share, subscribe, comment below, hit the notification bell so you're notified each time I upload a new video, and see y'all on the next video. Thank y'all.